。好，跟住去到第十同第十一條題目。今次咧想做嘅咧係個實驗，就想睇下咧喺個環境嘅唔同嘅因素啦，底底下啦，咁究竟啊對於一棵植物嘅失水嘅速度啦，有啲咩嘅變化咧？咁啊，今次睇嗰個失水變化咧，就係睇呢個氣泡咧，用咗幾耐嘅時間行咗呢個十 cm， 咁其實就係距離除翻時間啦，就係、是、速度啦，係咪？咁啊，但係睇翻第十條先啦，第十條咧就唔係問。個實驗嘅結果住嘅，佢又問翻咧一啲前設嘅步驟嘅，咁就係問一啲 precaution 嘅，有啲咩咧要注意嘅。咁我就係問咧，當我哋做實驗嘅時候咧，其實我哋要誒將呢個 leaf s h o o t 咧要剪一剪佢嘅。咁但係剪嘅時候咧，記住要喺水度剪喎。喺度問你點解啦？咁呢啲題目咧喺長題目都成日問嘅，咁所以咧學下人哋點樣寫咧都係有好處嘅。咁啊誒呢個實驗啦，咁啊先睇 case one case two 啦，係咪 ？case one 咧就係咧喺嗰個空氣嗰度剪啦。Case two 咧就喺水嗰度剪，就係、是、條題目去講嘅嘢嚟嘅。佢兩個有咩嘅特別咧？係啦，如果喺空氣剪嘅時候咧，啲空氣就會即刻咻一聲咧就會入咗去我哋個 silo mesh 嗰樹啦。咁自不然咧喺個 silo mesh 嗰度咧就會有呢個 air bubble。雖然咧有氣泡泡啦，係咪？有氣泡泡嘅話啦，塞鬼住咗嗰個 silo mesh 咧，就自不然係唔會有一個水流，一個暢順嘅水流咧能夠做得到落去啦。咁啊，跟住啦，如果係喺 underwater 去 cut 嘅話咧 ，cut 嘅時候咧。都入得去咧，都係水，咁即係保留住咧，仍然係一個水流咧，喺個 silo mesh 入面嘅。咁所以啦，睇個題目嘅話咧，就自不然就已經係 C 出現咗答案噶啦。咁但係 A、B、D 點解佢哋會錯咧 ？A 咧佢就話啦 ，allow 個 leaf issue to adjust to the new environment， 即係去適應下一個新嘅環境啊。咁其實就唔關佢幾點樣剪法事嘅。因為啦，你做完一個實驗 A， 即係話做完第一個嘅環境因素，跟住就轉第二個環境因素，跟住第三、第四個噶嘛，係咪？咁所以啦，當你去轉個環境因素嘅時候咧，其實啦就唔係話剪唔剪佢嘅問題啊，而係咧應該容許嗰棵植物咧喺嗰個新嘅環境咧，去可能啦，去做誒呢個十到十五分鐘咧，俾佢去叫做 h e 適應下先，就唔好即刻咧去度個數據住。咁呢個就係佢 adjust to new environment 嘅。佢 B 啦，就避免呢個 cut end 咧去 dry up 嘅，聽起上嚟順理成章嘅，你擺水啊嘛，梗係唔想佢乾啦，係咪？但係呢個亦都唔係話唔擺喺呢個空氣剪嘅原因，因為點解啊？我喺空氣剪完兜嘢掉落水得唔得？咁佢都唔會 dry up 嘅喎，係咪？咁所以啦，呢、這個係個、呃、air bubbles 嘅問題 ，OK？ 跟住啦，去到 D 咯喎，咁啊去 make sure 呢就係話誒呢個 leafy shoot 呢係唔會有 water loss 嘅，喺做實驗之前。咁其實都係同樣玩法啦。我剪完之後掉落佢落水嘅話，佢都未必有 water loss 㗎。佢應該吸到水嘅喎，係咪？咁所以 option D 呢都唔係答案。再加上啦，係咪真係可以去 make sure 到 there is no water loss？ 係咪即係話暗示咗佢可以 prevent water loss 呢？咁教呢課嘅時候，成日都提大家啦 ，prevent water loss 係唔實際，係冇可能發生嘅呢一件事。除非咩事呢？你加個字俾佢啦，呢、這個字呢，就係 prevent excessive 嘅 water loss 啦。嗱咁樣呢，都有啲機會嘅。咁所以啦，我哋頂多呢都係去講呢，就係去減少呢個失水 ，reduce water loss 呢，都叫做仲可以發生嘅。咁但係啦 ，option D 呢都仍然係錯誤嘅。So let's take a look at question eleven. So in this experiment, we are going to investigate the effect of different environmental conditions on the rate of water loss from a leafy shoot. So, uh, for question ten, it's not yet talking about the result. It's asking the precaution. So that's something we need to be aware before we really do the experiment. So it is important to cut the leafy shoot underwater. At the beginning of the experiment, because blah 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 blah. So there are two cases. Case one, cut the leafy shoot in air, and case two, cut the leafy shoot underwater, as mentioned in the question. So, actually, what's the、uh, precaution part we need to think about is that if we really cut the leafy shoot in air, so that means the air can go into the silo mesh directly. So that's why there will be air bubbles blocking the silo mesh. So that's the concept here, and then for case number two, cut the leaf issue underwater. So that means if we put the leaf issue the stem in the water, so that means the water will go into the silo vessel. So that's why we can still keep the continuous water stream in the silo vessels. So that's why the answer is C. Avoid the formation of air bubbles in the silo vessels of the leaf issue. But what about、uh, options A, B, D? Why they are wrong? So for option A, allow the leafy shoot to adjust to the new environment. So actually, what should we do? Should be, uh, let the plant stand for 
ten to fifteen minutes for a new environmental conditions. So, for example, uh, we test for the first condition or high temperature, and then we change to the second condition, low temperature. We allow the plant to stand for ten to fifteen minutes first, and then we start the uh the measurement, start the recording. Okay, so and then for B. Preventing drying up of the cut end of the leafy shoot, so it's it's it sounds make sense, but actually even I cut the leafy shoot in the air and then immediately I put it in the water, so that's why I can still prevent it drying up. So that's what's not the reason, uh, uh, why we cut the leafy shoot under water, and then for option D, make sure that there is no water loss from the leafy shoot before the experiment. Actually, it's just like the option B. After I cut it in the air and then I directly put it in the water, so I can still prevent the water loss. But the concept is that prevent water loss. That's something we cannot really do so. Okay, but we can just prevent excessive water loss. It's correct, but prevent water loss is wrong. Or we can just say that reduce water loss. Okay, but never prevent water loss.